Our next dish comes from one of the world's great barbecue hotspots, South Africa, where European, Asian, and African influences come together in barbecue that is bigger than life. I give you Cape Town lamb with ginger, garlic, and wood smoke. When I visited Cape Town, South Africa, I felt like I was making a pilgrimage to the birthplace of barbecue. After all, it was not far from here that archaeologists have discovered the remains of a fire built by distant human ancestors over one million years ago. Well, since then, South Africans have had a lot of practice in the art of barbecue, and they're equally at home grilling wild game as they are smoke roasting a whole leg of lamb. This is a seven pound leg of lamb, and I asked our field chef, Chris, to trim off this bony shank end, and then to remove what's called the H-bone. Take these off. Obviously, you're gonna have your butcher do this for you. And then he did what's called a tunnel boning, where he comes in with a boning knife around the leg bone and loosens it, and we pull this out as well. And then, why not insert a branch of rosemary in its place? Turn the leg of lamb over. Now this leg of lamb has a beautiful sheath of fat on the outside. I'm gonna leave that because that melting fat is gonna baste the leg of lamb as it cooks. And in fact, to release the fat, I'm going to score the top in a crosshatch pattern. This will also give your leg of lamb a really awesome appearance. Now, with the tip of a paring knife, make a series of slits in the lamb. And in half the slits, insert slivers of garlic. Next, what you wanna do is place a sliver of ginger in every other hole. So it's half the holes are garlic, half the holes are ginger. Now, turn the leg of lamb over. You don't need to score this side because there isn't much fat, but you do want to make those same slits once every two inches. And once again, insert garlic slivers. Here's a ginger. So to tie the leg of lamb up, cut yourself a half a dozen lengths of butcher string, each about 20 inches long. Then we'll bring the lamb on top. And then you'll come across and loop the end of the string through twice. Just kind of locks the string in place so you can tie it off tightly. Tie it off. Last step, drizzle extra virgin olive oil over your lamb. Rub it in. Mmm. And the extra virgin olive oil helps the exterior crisp. And finally, we'll season with coarse sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Now, grab the rotisserie spit, and what you're gonna wanna do is insert it through the leg of lamb, and then we'll insert the prong on the other side and snug the prongs into the roast, turn it over and tighten those screws. To spit roast the Cape Town lamb, I'm using a Kalamazoo Gaucho grill. Now this is a wood-burning grill that has a built-in rotisserie, and there's a gas burner you can turn on to light the logs, and I'll just place another log on the fire. Once the logs are lit, I'll turn that burner off so you build your fire in the back, little fire in the front. Leave the center area clear. That way, when the lamb fat drips down, it won't catch fire. So to insert the spit, you want to put the pointed end in this socket all the way. Then insert the other end in the socket. Then switch the rotisserie on. Then use this flywheel to lower the rotating lamb to within about 18 inches of the fire. Cooking time for spit roasting, one and a half to two hours. Meanwhile, let me show you how to make the glaze. 
The glaze starts with Worcestershire sauce and soy sauce and extra virgin olive oil, then brown sugar for a touch of sweetness and Dijon mustard and Chinese mustard for spice. The Dijon a little saltier, the Chinese mustard a little hotter. Finely chopped garlic, finely chopped ginger, and the grated zest and juice of a fresh lemon. And as always, squeeze the lemon juice between your fingers to catch any seeds. Then whisk the ingredients to mix and boil the glaze until thick and syrupy. Great. Now one last preparation. I'm gonna show you how to make a rosemary basting brush. Take a bunch of rosemary, cut off a length of butcher string, and you wanna just tie the rosemary up at the base. Pull tightly, we can snip off the end. And then just cut off the end to even out the bristles. So here's the lamb after one hour of roasting. It looks stunning, doesn't it? Dip your rosemary brush in the mustard glaze and then brush the outside of the lamb with this glaze. We have another 30 minutes of spit roasting. I'll baste a couple more times. Check out that lamb, it looks gorgeous. So we'll shut off the rotisserie motor. It feels done, gently yielding, but I always like to check with an instant read meat thermometer. You're looking for about 135 degrees. It's a perfect medium rare. We're there. Loosen the screws on the tines. Slide off the first set of prongs and then pull out the hot spit and pull out the second set of prongs. Now normally you would let your leg of lamb rest for 20 minutes before you serve it. It will be much juicier, the meat will relax, but I am so impatient to try this that I'm going to cut off the trussing strings right now. Just pull those strings off. Mm. Cut the lamb to slices. Now remember, the narrow end is going to be more well done. And this is really interesting. You see this edge right down here? This is a smoke ring. You never get a smoke ring when you spit roast on a gas grill, but when you spit roast over wood, it's almost the same as smoking. So I'll just transfer this to my tasting plate. And then a little of the mustard glaze on the side. This is outstanding. You've got the ginger, the garlic, the heat of that Chinese mustard glaze, and the whole thing gently smoked with wood smoke. The flavors are coming at you from every direction.